This is the living room we're in right now. Lots of large windows in the front. Also a uh, covered in front porch. Screened in front porch, I should say. Uh, there's somebody out there right now that's painting the uh, front steps. The living room is done in a gorgeous yellow gray fireplace. Condition of the fireplace is unknown, but it does seem to be a gas log fireplace. Dining room is painted in the same yellow. Again with the nice windows. Chandelier. Utility closet in the dining room. We'll head back to the bedrooms. One, again with the large windows. Carpeting is, appears to be new and in good condition. Closet is a fair size for the age of the house. Linen closet in the hallway. Contains washer and dryer stacked units. Second bedroom with a self content with a master bath. And it appears to have a stand up shower, a really nice one. So like all the bedrooms are done in this uh, tan walls with the brown carpet. Main bathroom. Interesting little sink, but necessary for the size of the bathroom. Brand new tub surround and shower. Cute shower curtain. Okay, leads around again into the kitchen, which is also redone. Nice table and chairs. Refrigerator. Again, uh, all the stainless appliances, including stainless sink, lots of cabinet space. Back door out to the backyard. Two car garage. Have not checked the doors yet. I'll do that when I go outside. Decent sized yard. There is a fence on the backyard that leads to the backyard from the front, but it does need repair. We'll head down these stairs to the basement. Right. Nice uh, entertaining space in the basement here. Nice fixtures. Grunated ceiling. Appears to have the hookups on this far wall for TV. Same carpeting in the basement that appears to be upstairs. Uh, here we have another part of the basement. There's a humidifier running, a dehumidifier running. Lots of storage space. Water heater. Uh, 100 amp fuse, fuse box. Additional storage. Compartmentalized storage. If she's going to have a roommate, I suppose, I'd imagine one compartmentalized room could be used for one, one compartmentalized room for the other. Furnace with humidifier attached. Appears to be in pretty good shape. Some of this piping here, like this one, is new. It has repair panels on it.
very nice entertaining room. Head back up to the kitchen. Kitchen turns back to the dining room. One built in china cabinet. The dining room. Maybe we'll head out the back door, take a look at the yard. We we'll walk right past a pantry closet. Fridge is a nice frigid air. This is the dishwasher. Range and microwave. Okay. Backyard. A privacy fence that goes around. There's a section missing by the garage. On both sides of the garage, it appears. Uh, a section of the fence is broken. Down here off the alley. Might recommend having a handyman come in and complete the privacy fence all the way up to the sides of the garage. And the garage itself. Is indeed a two stall with an opener. Fairly clean inside. Floor looks to be in good condition. There's some, uh, looks like what used to be the older cabinets out here, stored out here at this point. Back of the house. Privacy fence that continues, and here's the door to the backyard of the privacy fence that is broke. You can see where it's broken here off the hinges that would need to be repaired. Otherwise, the house looks very nice. Coming around to the front of the house. view of the neighborhood out of the front. Uh, the neighbors are selling their house too. Uh, looks like the neighbors had their home re-insulated. Park looks to be in good condition, well cared for. Not in a basketball, tennis courts. Homes across on the other side of the park all looked well maintained, as did the homes on this side, indicating they take pride in their houses and take care of it. This house itself, yeah. lovely painter. <laughs> you're fine, you're fine. I was gonna say, you can take pictures. <laughs> nice, uh, Nice landscaping on the front of the house. 